Okay, story time. This is a strange story. Um, it took place in uh, 1986. And the reason I remember 1986, that was when the special um, Challenger blew up. So I do remember 1986. I can't remember what school year it was. It was either the 86, 87, or the 85, 86 school year. Um, yeah, either way, 1986 is when it took place. Uh, there's a school I went to. Went to I went to a couple a couple of schools. And I'll try to do a little backstory first uh, before I get into the into the meat of the story. This this one this one you can think I'm crazy, um, but uh, all my stories are true stories. Um, I don't embellish stories. Um, old old story from my childhood, I guess you can say. Um, you know, as memories get old, um, they become fuzzy. They become black and white. I guess you can say. Uh, this is one of those stories where, you know, it's an old story. Um, it's sort of black and white. A lot of details have become fuzzy, but the feelings and the impression is still there. So I don't embellish my stories. Um, I try to explain the best I can. And when there's some gray areas or black and white areas, I try to feel it, fill that, that space in with the emotion put into words if that makes any any kind of any kind of sense but anyway i went to a, a school called edgewood um elementary growing up we used to jump from some schools school. i went to Ed edgewood Halsman, uh valley oak so we, we jumped around uh, some schools a lot um for whatever reasons but edgewood was one of the schools i went to and it actually I surprisingly it's, it's still um, it's still around um it's no longer an elementary school it's now uh, like an educational center or something like that um, most of the schools I went to, like uh, Housman was torn down, a new one was built. Um, uh, Valley Oaks was torn down, a new one was built. Um, um, Landrum Junior High was torn down, a new one built on top of it. So, but Edgewood is uh, it still stands. It's still standing pretty much as it somewhat looked back when I was in school in '86. So, anyway, um, when you go to school, um, every school has your English and your math and your you know whatever science. Uh, um, you know, social studies, you know, however it's called nowadays. Um, you know, every class has a, every school has classes. And those classes are what you learn. Uh, again, they're all, they're all built on curriculums, whether it be learning English, uh, reading, writing, math, history, science. Those are your categories. So anyway, um, there was two teachers that I had. Um, one was named Miss Hayes, and one was named Miss Berkelbach. Um, and I tried to look these people up. Um, again, this was in 86. That means it was 30, 37 years ago. Miss Hayes, I want to say, was probably, I'm, I'm horrible at, at getting ages. Um, but in, in, my, in, my, in my third grade memory, um, Miss Hayes was probably in her 40s or 50s. Miss Berkelbach was younger, I would say in her 20s and 30s, somewhere in that in those blocks of time, you know, 40, 50s, 20, 30s. So anyway, and I, I'm gonna try to find them. Uh, I had some old report cards from that school from 1980, 86. And uh, ironically, those teachers are not on my report card, even though I had their classes. Um, I'm gonna go into details. I'm about to go into a, a deep detail of what was going on in the class. That's gonna probably make me lose subscribers. Um, you know, I, you know I, I, I'm gonna be upfront. I'm, I'm a big fan of Art Bell and Coast Coast with George Norrie and them. And this is one of those stories. Um, so where did I begin? So I had my classes. I had math. I had um, social studies and, and you know science. You know, we had our, our classes. These two teachers for one hour. Uh, and the way the school was designed, you had blocks, your classroom were blocks. And I'm trying to remember if it was four classes per block and a bathroom in the middle, or if it was two classes per block and a bathroom in the middle. Either way, um, there was the classes that Ms. Hayes and Ms. Brooksbuck had, it was in one block and it was a wall dividing the class. So when you finished one class, we'll simply walk out of that class into the next class. If that makes any sense. So after our classes, we would go first go to Miss um, Hayes. Again, she, she was in her 40s, 50s, 
And I say we, uh, it was about about six of us, if I remember correctly. Uh, it was me and two of the guys, or two of the boys, uh, and six girls, if I remember right. Um, and this is where also, it, you know, time, 37 years, um, I, I, could, I can't picture their faces. It's been that long. Um, I can't remember their names. It's, you know, again, it just, it's really, it's been that long. And, and, and that's, they were, they were students in other classes I had. Um, but for some reason, we, us six, went to this particular class. And it wasn't a class. It was just a, um, well, I'll get in a minute. It, 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 it didn't, they didn't, Miss Hayes didn't teach English or math or, you know, science or social studies or any, any history or she was, she wasn't that kind of teacher, uh, as far as I know. So, and there's a reason why this is called, uh, this video is called uh, the Purple Panda Project. Um, so I don't know how to even jump into it. So anyway, it was a large class and this classroom was really a class that should hold like 20 students. It was a big, it was, it was a large classroom, that's what it was. And uh, there was only, you know, again, and again, my memory is, it's, it's black and white. <laughs> um, my brain's telling me there's only six desks in the class for us six students. There could have been more, there could have been 10. I do know it wasn't, it wasn't uh, seated for 20 students. It was a large open space in front of the class. Um, and then those, those desks just for us. Another thing that's really weird, uh, Miss Hayes, she would make us, well, not make us, wrong, wrong word. Um, in the back of her class, you know, we had water. We had a little sink in there and cups and everything. You can, you can, you can drink water. But also, she had sunflower seeds and those, um, those black seeds, flax, flax seeds. So she had sunflower seeds, like a, like a jar of sunflower seeds and a jar of flax seeds. And uh, we go there and scoop them in our hands and eat them, whatever, and everything. And, and that's, you know, she can carry out. Yeah, eat as, eat as much sunflower seeds, as much flax seeds as you want. You know, odd, odd thing. Anyway, I do remember um, when we go to her class, she would have us all lay down on the, on the floor uh, in front of where our, our desk was. It's like a the desk was sort of in the back of the room. You had, you had a door. You walk into the door. You had the desks. In front of our desk was a large space, open space. And um, she had a desk up front, off to the side, sort of, kind of. So there was a large open uh, open space. You know, where you could probably fit, I mean, again, you can probably fit another 15 desks, probably. In. Anyway, um, so Miss Hayes would, would have us come in um, and lay down on the, on the floor. And often we would lay down on a circle. Um, with our heads um, sort of facing each other. So you, you know, our heads in the center, our feet facing out and we're in a circle. And it was no, it was no particular order for a boy or girl. It just, we all lay down in a nice circle. And uh, she would put a, an audio tape, back, you know, back then it wasn't CDs, it was, it was cassette tapes. And uh, I know it was a cassette tape because I know she wasn't speaking because of the guy's voice. Um, but she would put a, an audio tape in and I, I, I'm assuming she had a lot of audio tapes because every class was a different, same voice, a different audio tape, uh, audio tape. And he had always introduced himself as the Purple Panda. And uh, in this one particular, particular class, it sort of stands out, um, stands out in my mind because it was the most bizarre. Um, we would all lay down on the ground um, heads facing each other, feet facing out in a circle. And this, uh, this purple panda person on this cassette tape would just tell us to relax. And I remember she would uh, often turn the lights out in the room. You know, it's not, not going to <laughs> not, not get creepy or anything. Um, she would turn the lights out in the room so the, dark, the lights would be dark. And this room it didn't have any windows. Um, this particular room, I, don't, I, I can't remember if the windows were painted blacked out. Uh, if the curtains were just drawn tight or it just didn't have any windows. I just, my memory don't, I just, my memory just remembers there was no windows to look out of. It's just a classroom with no windows. Um, yeah. So anyway, this purple panda would then tell us to relax and, and concentrate. And this one particular, uh, um, particular session. I want to call it a class, it wasn't a class. 
you know, I'm gonna get to Miss Birkelbach after this because anyway. So there's one particular class. Um, it's one 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 se uh, session. We all sat down, and we just went into this. Uh, I guess you call it a, a, a meditative state. I guess you want to call it that. But either, either way, we we all went into this 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 weird state of uh, group group consciousness. I guess maybe you can you can call it that if you want to call it that. But anyway, we. In, in, a, in a in a bizarre and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explain why I call it a group consciousness in a minute you know once at near the end of the story it won't be a long story I hope well probably it's gonna be a long story anyway we we went into this 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 um, group conscious like meditation and uh, the purple panda is basically telling us to to imagine being on a on a, on a craft or a, a ship or, or even a rocket and there's a world or a planet out there that we are to go and find, go to. And so we all stay there. In our mind, we imagine, you know, we're on this, we're, we built this, 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 the spacecraft where we entered the spacecraft and off we go. And it's just, you know, and it didn't, the class was only 30 minutes long. Miss Hayes was 30 minutes, Miss Birkbuck was 30 minutes. T total class, both teachers was an hour long. And um, we went to this place and, uh, you know, I remember it was a lot like it is now, sort of dusk, you know, with, well, either dawn or dusk. It was, uh, it wasn't a high noon type of sunlight. It was like sort of dark like this, it's, you know, dawn like this, dusk, dawn, whatever, whatever. Um, it had trees, it had, had ground, it had mountains in the background. Um, and it was one of those things where you go and the purple, the purple panda told us to, to walk around, to touch, to experience, to you know, just see your surroundings and, and sort of take it in. And um, it felt like, you know, I, you know, this is, again, we're kids. I mean, I was third grade. It felt like a very long time. I mean, within an hour. But I know it could be within an hour because the class was only 30 minutes long. But it felt like a very long time. Anyway, uh, at one point in time, the, the Purple Panda called us, all, called us all back together again because it's time to go back. And... Um, I don't remember if we again in, in 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 this field laid down in a circle. My brain is telling me that's what we did, but again, it's it's a, it's a black and white memory, and it's 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 the, the impression of us felt like that's what we did. I just I just don't 100 remember laying down in a circle in this particular time. But either way, we we came back together again, met in the same place we started from in this in this place, and came back to, to our class. Um. At that point, uh, the, panda, the purple panda told us to wake up, open our eyes. I remember Miss Hayes turns the lights on, and um, we all sort of sat. Uh, we all sit up. We all sat up. Sit up. Sat up. We sat up. Past tense. Yeah. Sat up. We all sat up. And um, you know, this is this was the day before computers and you know stuff. It's all you know. Everything was handwritten. And I remember Miss Hayes had a had a had a little tablet. And uh, we sat down, to, you know, she put us, tell us to go back to sit in, sit in the desks and again, asking us questions. Ask, you know, what do we see? Well, what was the, what was the, the air? Was it hot? Was it cold? Was it, you know, cool? Um, what kind of smells? Um, was it, you know, humid outside or outside? What, what did you see? What did you touch? What did you experience? And um, it's one of those, it's one of those weird um, a weird thing in, in, in when, when, when all six of us could sit there and talk about the same stuff. And I'm trying to remember. I, I can't remember their names. Their, their faces are, like I said, their faces are just, you know, just blurs. I mean, I just, it's been too many years, 37 years. Well, we, we sat there and we talked about the same, the same, the same smells, the same temperatures, the same sunshine, the same mountains. We talked about the same stuff in this, in this, in this in, as, as Ms. Ms. Hayes was writing her little notes and, and afterwards, after that, um, that class was over. We simply walked out of that room, walked around the corner into Ms. Birkenbach's room. 
And uh, again, her class was the same thing. I didn't learn math. I didn't learn science. I didn't learn reading, you know, writing. Um, it was just more questions about what, what we saw and what we experienced. Now, one thing I do, I do remember, and, it's, and, it's, and it's, it's a very sharp memory. I do remember her saying that her husband worked. And I'm, not, I'm not making this up. You know, just trust me on this. She, she sort of mentioned her husband worked for the military, worked for the government, or, and she made it almost made it, made it sound like she was, he was like a, you know, almost like law enforcement type of agency. It wasn't like CIA, CIA or you know, you know black ops or anything. Um, but it, but I do remember this, and it was, what's what stands out. Um, today we have copiers, uh, we have printers and stuff, and our printers have gotten pretty small, pretty pretty elaborate, pretty you know desktop type printers um color color printers and i remember she did have a printer and i'm not lying this printer was a size of a macbook um you would lay, set it down she would open the lid there was a place where you can insert a sheet of paper you put whatever you want to copy on top and as it feeds that piece of paper in it then copies the piece of paper and out spit out the, a black and white copy and um, she all, you know, she all let us uh, get a photo in a book. You know, we had books and everything in, in that class, but she just got to get a photo in a, in a book, and you know, each make we're allowed to make one photo or do a drawing. She said, "You can do what you can do a drawing," and she make a copy of that drawing. And it was a weird thing just remembering, you know, a Mac, a MacBook, you know, laptop size, black and white printer in '86. Now I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not saying they didn't exist. Um, I'm just saying this was a, this was a teacher at my other school that had. A miniature version black and white printer that I've never seen before even today I've never seen one that small I don't think so it's one of those things where and again I can't remember if, if, if that was the 86 87 school year or the 85 86 school year it, it's you know school you know they, they new, new years they, they cross the new years um, I'm gonna try to again I'm gonna try to find a report card I had all my teachers on it uh, and Ms. Hayes and Ms. Berkerbach were not on this court card anywhere, but they they existed. I tried to look them up, and all I have is a Ms. Hayes and a Ms. Berkerbach. And how many Hayes and Berkerbachs? I thought Berkerbach could be a unique name. It ain't, you know, and, and unless I'm spelling it wrong. Uh, Ms. Hayes. I mean, there's there's multiple ways of spell, spelling these names, and um, it's been 37 years. Um, I would imagine um, these teachers may be still alive. Uh, if Miss uh, Miss Hayes was in her 40s, 50s, that'll put her into her late 70s, 80s range. If Miss Berkelbach was in her 20s, 30s, that'll put her in yeah, into her 60s, maybe 70s. You know, year, you know. So, if they're still if they're still alive, they could be. Like I said, I have looked for them and looked for them and looked for them, and I, I just can't find them. Um, you know, I, I don't I don't have a first name to go on. All I have is a last name. And you just can't find people on Google. <laughs> you know, I want to go to the school and uh, just see if they have any school records. Again, back in those days, school records were, were analog. They are on paper. And uh, 37 years ago, on an elementary school, it's not even a school anymore. I don't, I don't think the school would be keeping records of teachers. So, that's my story. Uh, it's a true story. Um, I've always always just really wondered what was going on um it, but yeah everything it was it was that happened we we went somewhere all six of us felt the same place saw the same place breathed the same air and uh i don't know it just stands out really really vivid and that was every every day me and we had the class every day we did something like that similar to that similar to you know we went went places but that one just stood out because it's just, I don't know, for some reason it just stood out. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you know, every so often I'll, I'll Google Panda, you know, Purple Panda, Purple Panda Project, just trying to find, hoping to hit someone, someone out there who says, yes, I remember Miss Hayes or I remember Miss Berkelbach or I went to Edgewood in the 80s and I remember, I remember something like that. And I uh, just, um, you know, I Google, I Google it every so often. I YouTube it every so often. Just maybe hoping. So maybe this video here will um, reach someone, you know, in the Houston area or someone used to live in the Houston, Spring Branch area. That uh, 
that remembers this also. So, yeah, I'm sort of, I, I, I got nothing to say. I'm just sort of, just now just rethinking it, reliving it, and just sort of, yeah. So that's story time. So I got to get out of here. It's getting late, getting dark, and I have to, I have to get out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm going that way. Well, yeah, I'm going that way somewhere. It goes dips down. I think there's a trail that runs that way. I think. Yeah, place is a pretty place though. That's a big, used to be a big cedar tree, I think. But yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's story time. I'm done for today at least. And I uh, hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this story. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.